Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do the real review of the Moto Z2 Force Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can so without beating around the bush giggity Let's get right into it on a scale of 1 to 10. This phone is a major go Now this is in my top five Android phones for one reason and one reason only the Moto mods now, without the Moto Mods, it's just a basic Android phone. Now, just like any other phone that I review, there's always going to be some things that I don't like. So we'll talk about those first. Then we'll get into everything that I do like. So let's start with the dislikes. Number one, the price. Now, 720 bucks plus tax. You're looking at 750. Then you got to get some Moto Mods if you want the full experience. The price for this phone is too goddamn high. Now, on a side note, let me talk to Moto slash Lenovo for a second. Listen to me. Y'all got a great phone on your hands. Y'all got the mod game on lock. Right now, there's no other phone doing the mods like this. Now, you got the Essential phone. They got the little camera mod. But nobody else got all the variety of mods that y'all got. Y'all got the mod game on lock. But the price is too damn high. Nobody's gonna buy this phone and all of those mods for that price with all of the other phones on the market And I give you a perfect example Now if you buy this phone, you're looking at 750 after taxes There's some mods that you might want and some mods that you are definitely gonna need For example The battery charge mod Now we'll talk about more things that I don't like but I give y'all a quick hint The battery The battery on this phone is trash So you're gonna need this battery charge mod 80 bucks Now you're probably gonna want the JBL sound boost mod if you ever heard this thing in real life This is a major go. You're gonna need this another 80 bucks Maybe you want a style mod. Maybe you don't 15 20 bucks. It is what it is Now if you catch the right deal you get the projector mod for free now this one is 300 bucks This is the best mod on the market right now. So we'll just say you got this one for free you're gonna want the wireless charge mod. We'll talk about this. Uh, talk about how this works in a minute. Forty bucks. When everything is said and done, you already spent a thousand bucks. Moto, that's a hard sell. Let me show you why. Now, the average person, you got a thousand bucks. You're walking in this phone store. You're ready to buy a new phone. You gotta walk right past the iPhone Seven and the Seven Plus. Now, maybe you're not an Apple fanboy. You hate iOS. You specifically want an Android phone. Cool, so we'll take the iPhone out the equation, but still check this out. You're gonna have to walk right past the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Now these are the most popular Android phones on the market right now, always on display, wireless charge, water resistant, bezel-less displays, for under a thousand bucks to pick up the Moto Z. Nobody's gonna do that. Then you're gonna have to walk right past the Google Pixel XL. This is the most reliable Android phone in the market, and all of the nerds will tell you, you always got all of the latest updates. As y'all can see, I'm rocking Android O. I right, shout out to Android O Dog in the building. Most reliable Android phone, less than a thousand bucks. You're gonna have to walk right past this to pick up that Moto Z. Then you're gonna have to walk past the HTC U11, the most beautiful Android phone on the planet. Dual speakers, water resistance, Smooth HTC Sense, less than a thousand bucks. Then you're gonna have to walk right past the LG G6. Dual cameras, wide angle lens, always on display, water resistant, bezel-less display, under a thousand bucks. You got new phones coming out. LG V30, this phone is so sick. You're gonna have to walk right past this to go to that Z2. Nobody's doing that. So Moto, Lenovo, Take my advice. You're gonna have to do one of two things. Either drop the price on the phone or drop the price on the mods. The mod prices, they too high, but the price on the phone is too goddamn high. Next, battery life. Now you got a 2,730 milliamp battery and there's no nice way to say this. The battery is trash. Now I'm getting three and a half to four hours with heavy use. That's not cutting it for a phone that's gonna run you almost 800 bucks. Now we'll talk about the battery mod in a minute because that's one of the things that I do like, but we're talking about stock. All right, so let's move the mods out the way. Without the motor mods, 
The battery is trash. And speaking of trash, next, no quick charge 3.0. Now, again, this is 2017. All of these Android phones that you see, they all got Quick Charge 3.0. These are all the shit shower and shave phones. This is not the shit shower and shave phone. This is the shit shower and shave and maybe sneaking some quick buns on the side and then you back out the door. In this day and age, you need Quick Charge 3.0 on a phone that's costing almost 800 bucks. Next, the Shatter Shield. Now, this is a good and bad thing. I, I like this and I don't like it. I'll tell you why I don't like it first. Shatter Shield, it scratches way too easy. Now, I had a little uh, little flimsy screen protector off. I peeled it off because it started looking, you know, looking a little bit trash. Soon as I took it off, now you might not be able to see this from the camera angles, but you can see little minute scratches here and there. Now, I've been babysitting this phone ever since I took that screen protector off. Imagine if I was treating it like the way I treat the rest of these phones. When I come in, I just slam them down on the table like that. This phone would look like garbage. Now, this phone has one of those features that you flip it over to silence the ring. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to lay this face down. Because what if you slide it like this to pick it up? You're going to get mad scratches. You throw this in your pocket with your keys and your wallet. And you got some debris in your pocket. This is going to look like garbage after a few months. All right, so the Shatter Shield, definitely not feeling that for the look-wise. Next. No optical image stabilization on the camera. Now, this is big. All right, this is this is huge. All right, this is Donald Trump huge. Let me show you why. Let me pull up two videos real quick. All right, now check this out. Let me show you why optical image stabilization is so important on cell phone cameras. Now, here's the Z2. Here's the Galaxy S8 Plus. Now, I was in the shop. I did a video with both phones side by side, and I just panned around. Keep in mind, optical image stabilization on the S8 Plus. You got reverse optical image stabilization on the Z2. Check this out. Now look at the difference. Look how smooth that S8 video is. And look at the Z2. Now I'm trying to keep my hands as still as possible, but you can still see a little shake here and there. This one is silky smooth, almost like I'm using a gimbal. That is a major difference. Now, if you're buying this phone, you know, to take videos and make your little vlogs or doing whatever you do, you're gonna wish you had that optical image stabilization and your video is gonna look like this one and my video is gonna look like this. So everybody's gonna watch mine and they're gonna skip your joint and give you a fresh thumbs down. <laughs> All right, so no optical image stabilization, definitely not feeling that. Next, now it's a shame we always gotta mention this, but no headphone jack. All right, no headphone jack, that's pretty whack. Oh shit, that rhymed. No headphone jack, that's pretty whack. Now look, shout out to Galaxy Note 8, shout out to LG V30. A lot of these new phones coming out, they're not following this corny trend that Apple and HCC are rocking with and Moto with the no headphone jack. I'm definitely not feeling that. Now there's plenty of times I'm rocking my Bluetooth headphones and the battery dies or I jump in my car and I want to use the aux cable. If you forgot that little connector piece, you asked out. Now, I don't see the benefit of removing the headphone jack. Look at the Galaxy Note 8. All the same features, all the same specs, even more features, even better specs, and a headphone jack. Why do that? All right, so Moto, look, bring the headphone jack back. Oh, that rhymed too. <laughs> Bars. All right, let's keep it moving. Next, the phone is not water resistant. Now, it does have a splash-proof coating, so if you're outside in the rain and some uh, a couple of raindrops hit it, you good money. But you can't drop this underwater. So if you're standing next to the pool and your man comes and earth slams you into the water, you're going to be pissed. Y'all going to be fighting. All right, you can't submerge this phone. Now, again, 2017, in this day and age, even the phone like the LG V30. All right, the LG V30 is now waterproof. So you can't be the last phone in the market that doesn't have waterproofing and you're still charging 750 bucks. That's a no-go. Next, no dual speakers. Now this phone, this is weird. You got one speaker in the earpiece on the top. It is pretty loud. We'll talk about that in a second. 
No bottom firing speaker. It would have been nice to have dual speakers, but no dual speakers. I will talk about the speaker a little bit more. Next. Now, let me be petty. No quad deck. Now, is that a big deal? No. But when you got phones like this V30, this is so badass. You got the V30. You got the HTC U11. You got phones on the market that do have hi-fi decks. If you are a heavy music lover and you walk around listening to music, or maybe you got a job that you rock your headphones all day, you're not gonna wanna use Bluetooth headphones that you gotta keep charging. You're gonna wanna use a quality set of wired headphones. Then you're gonna wish you had a quad deck. So no hi-fi deck. Next, now I gotta be petty. No, no gimmicks. Now this has, you got a few gestures, but when I say gimmicks, I mean no always on display like on the G6. No facial, no facial unlock. You know, no, no fancy gimmicks that sets this apart from other phones besides the mods. And those are gimmicks that you got to pay for and you got to pay hefty. So this is basically a stock Android phone. Some people like that. But me, I prefer to have all of my features. I want the voice unlocked, the face unlocked. I want the always on display. I want all of these features. You're not going to have that on the Z2. Next, now of course, no removable battery. We don't have to. We don't have to have to keep talking about that because the last of the Mohicans lost the removable battery, so we could ca cancel that off the list. No IR blaster. Again, most of the phones don't have that anymore. But shout out to Moto. If you go to their Moto Mods website, they are taking suggestions for Moto Mods, and we'll talk about why this is important that they keep in the same pin system. They are taking suggestions. So one of my suggestions would be. A nice mod that you slap on that has a built-in IR blaster, maybe some number keys that you slap on and use as a remote control. Just a thought. Next, the look of this phone. Now, this is definitely not by any stretch of the imagination the most sexiest phone. Look at the bezels. All right, this probably got the biggest bezels of 2017. Now you got your fingerprint sensor on the front. I love that. So can't really, you know, complain too much about that. But if you're one of these people that hate bezels, especially with all these new bezel-less phones coming out, then you're not going to like this at all. This is mad bezel. All right, this display right here could have been another three inches bigger without all them bezels. It is what it is. And the hump on the back. Now let's talk about this hump. All right, I hate this hump. Now, once you get a Moto Mod and you slap it on, then the hump disappears. Now it's nice and flush. But without the mod, check out this hump. I mean, you gotta see this one more. Look at that hump. Now, other than the fact that it's just mad ugly, this is no good. Because I don't care what they tell you, sapphire crystal, dilithium crystal, uh, diamond encrusted crystals, whatever they say is protecting the camera lens. Look how far that hump is sticking out. When you put your phone face up, the first thing that hits the table is that camera lens. So now if there's a little pebble, a little piece of broken glass, anything on the table, and you put your phone down like this, maybe you slide it to pick it up. Once you scratch that camera lens, this phone is rendered useless. Now anybody that ever had a phone with a scratch camera lens will tell you, your picture's gonna look like trash, you might as well throw the phone in the garbage. So I don't like that big giant camera hump like that that almost forces you to use a Moto Mod, which as ugly as the back of this phone is, you're going to want to use a Moto Mod anyway because look at those pins. Nobody want to see that. All right, you got your little Moto Insignia, kind of glossy, but nobody want to see that. All right, so I'm not really feeling that camera hump. Now, I know, <laughs> I know. How is this in my top five Android phones, y'all asking? Well, let's get into the things that I do like. Number one on my list of things that I do like, the build. The build quality on this phone is excellent. Now, if you're into these heavy duty, manly style phones, phones that feel rugged and, you know, durable and, you know, sturdy, feels like a little, you know, a, a brick. This feels like a rugged military style phone. This is a manly style phone. You're going to like this. Right, it's not sexy, but um, <laughs> feels good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Moto been doing this for the last 20 years. You don't have to, you, you're not gonna have to worry about this phone breaking. All right, now speaking of build quality, back to the Shatter Shield. Now, as much as I don't like it because it's so prone to scratches, at least one thing you're not gonna have to worry about is dropping this phone and breaking the display. Now go online and look for yourself. Look at some Shatter Shield test videos. I think Moto got one up on their site. They just dropping the phone like this for mad high angles. 
the phone will not break because it's not glass. It's actually layer upon layer upon layer of plastic. So <laughs> it's not going to break. So I'm definitely feeling the build quality on this. Yeah, not pretty to look at, but it gets the job done. All right, so build quality, major go. Next, the display. Now you got the P-OLED display, which is stunning. All right, this display is beautiful. If you put this side by side with the Google Pixel XL, it's basically no difference. The blacks, they look extra black. <laughs> All right, you can barely see the bezels when you're looking at it straight on like this. This is a quad HD display. It's beautiful. Now, of course, quad HD with the small battery equals even less battery life. So it's a give and take. But you get yourself this battery pack mod. I'll show you how that works in a second. And you're good to go rock this on max brightness like I do all the time. So the display on this, 100% win. Next, fingerprint sensor. Now, fingerprint sensor on the front. This is the best possible placement for me. I love having the fingerprint sensor on the front. And this fingerprint, scent, uh, print fingerprint sensor, the responsiveness on this is 100%. All right, so you never have to swipe this twice or press it. You never have to press this twice. It always works. Now, this is one of the reasons why I like having the fingerprint sensor on the front as opposed to the back. Because when my phone is laying like this on the table, I can just hit the finger, hit my thumb on it, and open it right up. Now, I'm doing this from behind the camera, so I can't even really see where it's at. Am I touching it? Yeah, but it opens right up. Now, when I do it the right way, no lag on the fingerprint sensor. It works 100% of the time. When you got it on the table, you're going to have to get your thumb in an unnatural angle, but it works. All right, so the fingerprint sensor on this is a major go. Now, you do got a trackpad built into the fingerprint sensor. I disabled it because I really don't like that feature. So I'm not going to knock it because I don't use it. You might like it, but you could swipe back to previously use uh, screens or whatever. You know, you can swipe back and forth. I just don't like it. All right, I'm going to keep it real. I just don't like it. So I'm not really going to talk about it too much, but it's there. All right. So if you get this phone, play with it for yourself. But um, it, it is what it is. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the speaker. Now you got one speaker in the earpiece. Now, I know a lot of people saying that if you're going to have one speaker, you'd rather have one bottom firing speaker that's nice and loud. But me, if I got to only have one speaker, I'd rather have it right in the front. So this way, when I'm holding a phone like this, you see how your, 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 your finger is using it, uh, using, you're using your finger as a, a, a rest. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm all over the place. Sometimes when you hold a phone like this, basically what I'm trying to say is you muffle out the speaker. Now, you got your, spe your speaker on the front. It's not the loudest speaker in the world. It's definitely no bass in the speaker. But the placement, since it's firing right into your mouth, it's going to sound louder than firing from the bottom. So speaker that's shooting right to the front, shooting right into your eyeballs, it's going to sound louder. All right, so I'm definitely feeling the speaker. Now, like I said, I wish they would have had two, but a wish is a wish. Let's keep it moving. Next, let's talk about the camera. Now, the camera on this phone it's pretty good. It's it, it's not beating the S8. It's not beating the iPhone, but it gets the job done. Now you got your different modes. You got professional. All right, so you got your pro mode. You got true black and white. Now here's the thing about the true black and white. I want to show y'all something real quick. Let me pull up. Let me pull up my Galaxy S8. Now look, I'm not I'm not gonna feed y'all a dream and tell y'all that the true black and white is so is so crazy and it's so amazing because honestly I couldn't really. I couldn't really see the difference. Now I'm gonna show y'all something. Let me pull up the same picture I took with the Galaxy S8 Plus, and you could you could be the judge for yourself. Let me pull that up. Hold up. <laughs> I know I could edit this and cue this up, but uh, too lazy for all of that. Check this out. Now I took the same picture with both phones. Now with the Galaxy S8, I just swiped over and used those little Instagram filters, and this is the dual camera, monochrome shooter, fancy fancy words and all of that. But honestly, and I mean honestly, the S8 just looks better. Now this is just a black and white filter. I know, now I'm not a, I'm not a professional photographer. I'm pretty sure people are gonna say, look at the depth, the depthness and the richness of the black tones and all this uh, mumbo jumbo. But if you want a black and white picture of your pizza, to post on Instagram, they're gonna look the same. So I wouldn't say buy this specifically for that black and white photo. They basically look the same. Now you might see a little bit more, 
a little bit more detail here and there. But honestly, if I had to pick a black and white photo, I would have went with this one. It's just, just brighter. It looks better. It is what it is. Now, let me show you another thing, too, about this camera that's pretty dope. Portrait mode. Now, portrait mode on this, this is a go. Now, this is one of the better portrait modes that I've seen yet. Now, of course, nothing is touching the iPhone portrait mode. And right after that, we got the Huawei P10. But I want to show y'all a picture I took with the uh, Galaxy S8 portrait mode. Matter of fact, let me show y'all the iPhone 7, 7 Plus portrait mode versus this one. Now, get a look at this real quick while I'm uh, looking for that photo. <laughs> I know, I'm so organized. Check this out. Now, look at the Galaxy, I mean, look at the uh, iPhone 7 versus the Moto Z portrait mode. Same shot. Basically, it's a, a picture of the S8 close up and the background is blurred out. They both look beautiful. Now, of course, you can't really see it uh, through this video. If you was looking at it from the naked eye, the iPhone just looks a little bit, it just looks a little bit better. The blur in the background fades in perfectly, but this is no slouch. All right, so finally, one of these Android phones besides the Galaxies that have a good portrait mode. I put this right up there with the Huawei P10. This is a go. So basically what I'm trying to say is the camera on this phone is a go. It does everything it says it's supposed to do. You got your pro mode, you got your panoramic shots, point and still, works fine. And one of the best features about this camera is you got a front face and flash. All right, so if you're heavy into selfies, you're gonna like this front face and flash. You can also use it as a torch. So if you want, you could just have it stay on all the time and you uh, use it as a front facing flashlight. So this way, maybe somebody's doing a video of you, you have this on as a flashlight and you can still use your phone at the same time instead of having your torch on the back and you can't see what's going on in your phone. All right, so the camera on this, I'm giving it a go. Next, let's talk about the processor. Now you got the latest and greatest. You got the Snapdragon 835, you got the Adreno 540 GPU. This is top of the line specs, and it shows with this phone, there's literally no lag. I have, haven't had any lag with this phone, and I've been using it beast mode. All right now, especially with the battery pack on this, you're gonna, it's gonna allow you to use this phone beast mode. No lag at all, multitasking, having 100 apps open in the background at the same time, no lag. So this and the Pixel XL, these are two of the most reliable Android phones that I got. I would still give the edge to the Pixel because, you know, I'm gonna keep it real. Sometimes with this phone, I notice when I activate the camera, it will have a little lag. Let's let's exit out and see if I could get that to happen live. Well, it's doing good now. But sometimes when I act when I activate the camera, it'll be a black screen and it takes a second for the camera to activate. Now that one second delay could cost me some good footage of somebody getting slapped. I need to see that. But other than that, the processor, like I said, silky smooth, no lag at all. Next, now you got some gestures, all right? So you got your double chop, activate the flashlight, chop it again, turn it off, twist it, that activates your world star hip hop cameras function. So you got a few gestures. Also, let me show you one more. When the phone is on the table, you got your ambient notifications. So say I get an email or maybe a text message, it's gonna look like this. It's just gonna ambient light up like that and I'll see a little message and it'll disappear. And just like you've seen also, you wave your hand across it, that's how you check the time and check your missed calls and check the date, check your messages. Nice little gesture feature. Now, of course, I'd rather have always on display you know, I'd rather have facial recognition software to unlock the phone. I'd rather have more gestures and more features. But if that's a trade-off to have zero lag, then it is what it is. You got enough gestures to get by them. Next, reliability. Now, we just talked about that. This is the second most reliable phone I got, and that's part of the reason why you're gonna buy this phone, because you're not gonna have no problems. Now, people that buy Motorola stuff, that's why you buy the Motorola walkie-talkies and the Motorola headsets at your job. There's no problems. That's why all of the police departments, the fire departments, everybody use Motorola products because they're reliable. And it's the same thing with these phones. It's been the same way for the last 20 years. Yeah, shout out to everybody that watched my stream. I was pulling out some of my old school phones. But but even y'all catch that's new to the phone game. Remember the Motorola Photon? That was the first Motorola Android phone. That phone came out around the same time as the Evo. No lag, no problems. The build quality was rugged. Same thing. These are reliable products. 
So that's one thing I will say about Motorola. You don't have to worry about uh, getting insurance on this phone because it's not going to break. All right, so this is a reliable phone. Now, let's talk about the best thing about this phone, which is the Moto Mods. Now, that's why you're going to buy this phone. Let's get a little wipe down. You see, this is a fingerprint magnet on the back, but you're going to have a mod on top of this anyway, so who cares? Moto Mods. Now, remember, I said the battery on this phone is trash. You get yourself a battery pack. Now, they got the turbo pack. They got an Incipio version. I like the Tumi one the best because it has this shimmery look to it. This is called Slap It and Rock It. All right, now I'm, I'm rocking a Moto Z with a trash battery. Slap it and rock it. Now this phone has double the battery capacity and has a better battery than any one of these Android phones that I got in my pocket. I can use this phone from sunrise to sunset with maximum brightness on beast mode, all my apps open in the background, just by adding one battery pack. That's why I say this is in my top five Android phones. The battery pack mod on this is incredible, but that's not just where it stops. Let's keep it moving. Now, I'm rocking the battery pack. Once I get to work and I'm at my desk, now I got my wireless desktop dock. So now again, slap it and rock it. Slap this on. Now my phone has wireless charge. I can put it right on my desktop dock and rock out. Adds minimum extra thickness. I actually like the way this one feels. Has that textured feel in the back. This one is 40 bucks. Got to pay to play. I would definitely get this mod. Take this one off. Slap it and rock it. Now this one right here peels right off. Simple and plain. Now we get into some better mods. Now you got the style mods. Now y'all don't need to see this. Basically style mod. Now I like the wood grain version. But if you go on Amazon, they got a thousand different ones with pictures. You could drop your own skin on the back. Do what you do. Now let's get to my favorite mods. The 360. Now this one, it's a little bit overpriced. Now, not, then again, I can't even say a little bit. This is maximum overpriced. This is 300 bucks. I was a little bit leery about this because when you got this on your phone, check this out, let me show you how it looks. Looks like this. Now this part right here, this is the camera. This is gonna be sticking out of your pocket. If you got this in your back pocket or your side pocket. If you sit down wrong and you break this, you just broke a $300 camera. Now, it's kind of gimmicky. You've seen one 360-degree video. You've seen them all. Nothing fancy, but it does work. It does work, and I did take some 360 video. I'll pull up one real quick just so y'all can get an idea of what it looks like. All right, check this out. Now, matter of fact, you can take 360-degree videos or pictures. Now, this is in the shop. It's me sitting there looking like a savage, but 360-degree picture. Now, that's cool because if I send this to somebody, they don't need to have a Moto Z. They don't need to have a 360-degree uh, capable phone. They could just use their finger like that and see a 360-degree footage. That's going to be perfect if you're into real estate and you want to show somebody an apartment or you just hooked up the man cave and you're inviting over some company and you want to show them how you get down. Send them a 360-degree picture. And it works good with the videos. Just a little bit overpriced, 300 bucks, but it is what it is. Now, the JBL Sound Boost mod. I don't got to demo this again. Y'all seen it in the unboxing video. The Sound Boost mod, this is a must-have mod for me. 80 bucks. Just factor this into the price of the phone. If you buy this phone, buy this mod. Trust me, it's going to take your phone to the next level. All right, 80 bucks on this. They got a JBL Sound Boost 2. I'll probably order that one and see what it looks like, see if it sounds any different. But this is one of the best mods you're going to get. Now, that's one thing I got to mention. This is what I do like about this Moto Z. You see the pins on the back? They're exactly the same as the, Moto, the original Moto Z. This is the Moto Z 2. The same as the Moto Z Play. The pins, Moto, say, Moto says that they're going to make a commitment. They're not going to change these. So now, if you invest all of this money into the Moto Mod system, you locked and loaded. You don't have to worry about when the Z3 comes out. Now, I got to go out and buy... Hold up. Hold up. Now I got to go out and buy all these mods again. You're not going to have that problem. All right, so once you invest, you're good to go. So right now, all of these mods right here, well, not all of them, but this is from my old Z. This is from the old Z. And this is from the old Z. So for this one, all I had to buy was the wireless charge mod. I had to get the 360 camera. And I had to get the best mod on the market right now, the projector. 
Now, depending on where you buy this phone from, you might be able to get this projector for free. If you could get this for free, jump on this. All right, this is the best Moto Mod out right now. This is the most James Bond badass accessory that you're gonna find on the phone. And I give y'all a quick demo of how it looks. Now, of course, you're gonna need to have a, a full uh, HD, uh, well, not HD. You're gonna need a full wall or a full table. Gotta be dark to really see how this works. But check this out. Let me just, uh, let me go to my home page. Now, you see, I got the, mo I got the uh, projector mod connected. Look at this, look at the table. And it automatically reorientates. Now, of course, right now, it's not gonna look like a big deal, but you can have this on a 60 inch wall. It's not gonna be HD, but it's definitely gonna be viewable. And the way that I was rocking it, and it had me looking so boss, and why I fell in love with this, when I was at the fight party, sitting on the couch, everybody had their phones in their hand. In between each round, everybody had, you know, everybody was pulling out their phone and texting and tweeting and looking at Instagram. I got the phone sitting next to me. It's projecting on the ceiling. Now we're in a dark room. It's crystal clear. It's big. It's bright. I'm swiping my phone and looking up at the ceiling. That was one of the most boss feelings that I had, and that kind of made this worth every penny. Now this is 300 bucks, but like I said, you could get this for free if you buy the phone from the right place. I actually bought this on Amazon for 250, worth every penny. So overall, on a scale of one to 10, the Moto Z2, this is a major go in my book. Now, not the best Android phone out, doesn't have the most features, not the best camera, but the Moto Mods make this phone a major go and puts this into my top five. Now, just in case you was curious, let me give y'all a rundown of my top five Android phones. Here we go. Number one, Galaxy S8 Plus. Always on display, wireless charge, bezel-less bezel -less display, packed full of features, this is my favorite Android phone, not to mention probably the best camera on any phone right now. Well, not any phone, but best camera on any one of these Android phones, maybe other than the Sony Z and some of this new stuff coming out. But the S8 Plus, the, this is just an all around win. Not to mention the iris, iris sensor, facial unlock, killing the game right now. Number two, Google Pixel XL. This is the most reliable phone I got. Rocking that Android O, shout out to O Dog, Android O Dog in the building. No lag, never gotta reset this phone. This is a beast. Number three, HTC U11. I gotta wipe this down one time. Whoo! The most beautiful Android phone in the universe. Silky smooth, HTC sensors a go. And now it's water resistant. Great camera. This is a win. Next. I'm going with LG G6. Water resistant, bezel-less display, always on, you know, always on display. No lag, no hiccups, doesn't suffer from the curse of LG just yet. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So far, this is a go, not to mention, just looks beautiful too. And the wide angle lens camera, killing the game, killing it. And number five on my list, Moto Z2. Y'all seen the Moto Mods. I, I, I need that projector mod in my life and the JBL Sound Boost. Not to mention, you drop on that battery charge mod and you're rocking out all day. It's super reliable, no lag. Now, of course, this list is gonna change real soon because we got Galaxy Note 8 coming next week. So we're gonna have to file number one out the list. You got Google Pixel uh, XL 2 coming. So you're gonna have to file number two. You got LG V30. Now, real quick, let me just address something. A lot of people been getting on my case. I had a lot of y'all haters talking about the LG V20. Why did I say it was a go? And then now I'm saying it's basically unusable. Well, you got to remember, this is a gadget. A lot of times you'll get a phone, even with this LG V30. I'm in love with this phone. This phone is a major go right now. But who's to say two months later, it starts lagging. Maybe you get a boot loop. Maybe the fingerprint sensor starts getting less responsive. Maybe the camera starts lagging. Once that happens, you're going to have to adjust accordingly. And that's what happened with my LG V20. I was loving the phone. I'm not going to lie. I was loving it. But then it started lagging. I started having problems. So it fell out of the list. So once this phone, once I get the retail version of this one, this is going to be in top five. Most definitely. You got the essential phone. So maybe in a couple of months, we'll have a new top five lineup. But as of right now, 
This is it. So anyway, Mo <laughs> Moto Z2, like I said, on a scale of one to 10, this is a go, major go. All right, this is a major go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas. Ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize.